In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use flow layout in Java. Now, the flow layout class puts components in a row sized at their preferred size. If the horizontal space in the container is too small to put all the components in one row, the flow layout class uses multiple rows. If the container is wider than necessary for a row of components, the row is by default centered horizontally within the container. So this is the uh, most simple layout manager that is used in Java. And it's worth pointing out that it's also the default layout manager used uh, by uh, a J panel. So technically when you're working inside a J panel, you don't actually need to um, call up um, the uh, flow layout. So just for the sake of argument, we're gonna do it here. Uh, so you would, uh, again, I want to emphasize that you don't have to do this, but as I said, we're just gonna do it anyway. So to use a flow layout, um, you would import the uh, flow layout class from the AWT package. Um, <clears throat> then as you can see, we're inside our panel, we're setting the layout to flow layout, and then we are adding uh, buttons. So this would give uh, this result. So as you can see, we have five buttons in this case, and they're all um, following each other one by one. And as you can see, uh, when uh, the last component gets to the end of, the, or should I say, when the yeah, when the last component gets to the end of the window, uh, the rest of the components that need to follow uh, go on the line just underneath. Um, so that's uh, the theory on the flow layout class again if you need more if you if you want more information or more details on the inner workings of the flow layout class you can go to the um the official documentation page of the flow layout class here at this link uh, in the next step we're going to see how to uh, apply this in a, a practical example in a In this step, we're going to see how to use uh, flow layout in Eclipse. So we're still working inside our button sample inside our panel. So we start off by uh, importing the flow layout uh, class from the AWT framework package. Uh, then we have um, nine button fields here. So nine buttons essentially inside a constructor we're creating our flow layout uh, called FL in this case. And then uh, we're basically setting the layout to that uh, flow layout, so FL. And then we're creating the actual buttons numbered from one to nine, and then we're adding those to our um, panel. So let's run the program, see what this does. As you can see, we have a row of our components, our buttons. When uh, the row is full, uh, the next components go to the next row. Um, and as you can see, this is centered in the middle here. Um, so there is a way of changing that. Um, I'll show you that now. Let's close this uh, with this uh, instruction. So, sorry. FL, which is the name of our flow layout, dot set alignment um, flow layout dot right example. And there's, yeah, it's spelled alignment correctly, there's no E here. Okay, like so. So if we run this now, as you'll see, instead of being uh, centered in the middle, uh, it will be um, aligned to the right. Um, so that's a, a neat trick. Uh, obviously there are lots lots more instructions that you can find on the documentation, as I said in the previous step. So um, that's how you use uh, flow layout in Java. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be seeing how to combine all of these um, layout uh, managers um, that we've seen in the previous couple of videos. And we're going to combine them to make our own um, custom interface, if you will. So be sure to check out the next video.